and welcome back to my channel mum of wildlings in this video today i am going to show you all how i make vegan and gluten free pancakes so i hope you enjoy let me know if you try the recipe and how it works out for you they are amazing honestly i really hope you love them as much as we all do so these are the ingredients we are going to be using today. Now they are all in French because we are in France at the moment. Um, main ingredient is some gluten free flour. This is plain flour but I do prefer to use self raising flour. Sainsbury's do a really good one if you're back in the UK. Plain flour is fine, you just put in a little bit extra baking powder. Then we have oat milk. I do suggest finding and using oat milk. I've tried it with almond milk and it is just nowhere near as good. The, the mixture doesn't go the same and the texture of the pancakes just aren't as nice. So find some oat milk. Now I'm going to pop a little bit brown sugar in. I prefer to use coconut sugar but I couldn't get my hands on any. And if you want a sugar free recipe you can also substitute that for some vanilla extract. I'm going to be putting in a pinch of salt and this is baking powder. Make sure that you get gluten free baking powder. Some brands are naturally gluten free, some aren't. Now this is flaxseed. Don't do what I've done and buy the flax seeds like this because they're a nightmare to ground. Buy yourself some ground flax seeds. So you have to start by making your flax egg up first. So I'm going to have to ground these seeds but if you don't be silly like me and just buy ground flax you can miss this step. So it could probably be doing with getting grounded a little bit more but my arm's too sore so that's enough for me. Now to make a flax egg you're just going to get a big spoonful of the ground flax and I'm going to go for another spoonful actually. I don't measure anything, I'm really bad, so I just have to go by, by eye. And add in probably about double the amount of water that there is in the flax seed. Give it a mix. And then this gets popped in your fridge for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, so the flax egg has probably had about enough time in the fridge, so we're going to get started on making the mixture. I'm making your pancakes, honey. Um, so as I said before, I don't measure anything. If you guys need me to, I'll do another video where I do measure it. So we're just going to put some flour into a bowl. Probably about half fill it up. This isn't a massive bowl, so yeah, about that. And then next in goes the baking powder. Now, if you're using self raising flour, I'd say put in a teaspoon. And when using plain flour, put in about two teaspoons, maybe. I don't know how much that is. About this. Um, and then you don't have to do this but I find adding in a pinch of salt really does help the mixture. I can't twist the salt and hold the camera so I'll have to put it down for a second. So just a pinch of salt in and then I am going to add in some brown sugar. Now as I say I normally use coconut sugar but you can also use vanilla essence. I don't add in too much. Maybe about two teaspoons about there and then I am going to get the flax egg out the fridge. Now your flax egg will probably look a bit better than mine's, a bit gloopier but mine's isn't ground properly so but that'll have to do. Give that a stir again and we are just popping that in. And then add in the oat milk. Now uh, I'll probably leave it about there and then I am going to whisk it up and then see, yeah I think that'll be enough milk but I'll see what the texture is like and then I'll just add more milk if, if needed. 
So I have my little helper. Are you whisking it for mum? Stir it. Oh, clever boy. Oliver, you're doing amazing. What are you making? Pancakes. Pancakes. Well done. So give it a good mix. Brilliant. So the mixture is almost perfect consistency. Just need some more lumps out, but it's just a tiny little bit thick for my liking. Although I do like quite a thick mixture. So I'm just going to add in a tad more milk. And give that a good whisk up. And I'm also going to pop the pan on. Now I have a non-stick frying pan, so I am not going to add in any oil. But if your frying pan tends to stick, or you've not got the non-stick one, add in a tiny little bit of oil first. So I am happy with this kind of consistency now. Excuse all the lumps, but the kids are getting a little bit annoyed and I'm not going to stand here and whisk pancakes next to the morning. <laughs> um, but if you have time, do it. Or I've heard some people like to shove their mixture in a blender and just blend up for a quick mess. Big spoonful right in the centre of the pan and I sometimes spread out just a tiny bit. I'm going to let that cook. Now when you're cooking it, you'll see that it starts to bubble and you want these bubbles to kind of come to the, the surface and pop and you'll see that this side kind of looks a bit more cooked and then it is ready to flip. So this is looking ready for flipping. So just get in underneath and pop it over. And then it'll cook for maybe about two minutes on this side and then it's ready. Now this mixture will make roughly about six of these size pancakes. So enough for a family breakfast.